Hello and welcome, I'm Tom with East Coast Yacht Sales and this is a Grand Banks 42 Classic. This one in particular, named Moondance, is a 2001 Grand Banks 42 Classic and uh, the big story on this boat, I'll get to a little bit later, has to do with her engines, but in the meantime let's move aboard and check her out. So, like many Grand Banks, uh, this boat is resplendent in lots of varnished wood and nice teak decking, you can see. Also has the varnished name boards. Um, let's move up onto the flybridge. And on the way, you can check out the dinghy that comes with the boat that has a four stroke, 15 horsepower Yamaha outboard on it. Up on the flybridge, we have uh, lots of seating around and a newer Raymarine chart plotter up at the helm area and VHF and autopilot. The owner uses these chairs for a little bit more padding, uh, but obviously they can be moved. Uh, I do really like this varnished teak table up here as well. Gives it a nice yachty flair. Uh, up on the mast, which is obviously also the dinghy davit, you have radar and satellite TV as well as weather, uh, wind instrumentation. So you get a full situational awareness. Uh, working our way back down, you can see there is a um, life raft as well as a external 12 volt refrigerator and freezer, uh, which is really good for doing extended cruising. You can cram that full of food and just go off the grid for a couple of weeks at a time. Out back here, you have the aft companionway that goes down into the aft full width master stateroom. You also have some storage underneath here, as well as a rear rail mounted magma propane grill. Uh, let's swing around this side and go forward. As you can see, nice polished stainless handrails all the way around. You have the cast stainless Grand Bank, Grand Banks plaque. Moving up forward. As with any proper yacht, you have a uh, wood varnished uh, staff up forward for your burgee, just to match your uh, staff on the back for your ensign. Uh, the boat did receive a brand new windlass as of a season or two ago. Uh, I don't know if you noticed while we were out aft, this boat actually has twin shore power connections. So regardless of whether you go bow in or stern in, it's always easy to plug into shore power, which is a really nice feature. Uh, you also have a little bench up here that is additional storage. Uh, let's move on inside. All right, up at the helm, much like uh, upstairs at the flybridge, you have all your controls, matching newer 12-inch uh, Raymarine chart plotter, autopilot. You have uh, all your instrumentation up here for uh, your um, wind instrumentation and breakers. Um, you have a tilting middle forward windshield so you can get some fresh air in here if you're driving from down below. Though I suspect most of the time you'll be driving from the flybridge just because it's a really nice place to be. Uh, cool thing with the layout of this boat is it's a galley up, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, it makes the boat a lot more social as opposed to sticking whoever's cooking down in a hole down below. You have the galley up here so you can socialize and more importantly for the cook you can rope, in, uh, rope the crew into helping you do some cooking. Uh, you have your cook top here, which is a three burner gas, and then you have the oven down below. You have a microwave, and then you have a big fridge here, and you have an additional one on the other side that you have access from the side as well as from above. Um, let's go forward real quick. Up forward here is the guest cabin. So you have a V-berth arrangement with a ensuite head uh, and a shower. It's a wet bathroom, so it's not split, uh, but still gives you plenty of room and it's a really good uh, guest quarters. And you have a sliding companionway here and door to make it nice and private. All right, moving aft from the Ford stateroom, uh, you come through the galley slash helm area to the main salon. You have a nice, big, cushy, L-shaped settee on one side and a smaller settee on this side. Uh, I have a nice, big dining table with flip-up leaves on both sides. 
uh, which is variable height. Um, over here you have a liquor cabinet with storage on top as well as underneath as you can see. So before I move aft to the master stateroom the big secret I wanted to talk about on this boat is that this boat is freshly repowered as of less than a year ago. This boat also has the bigger engines that are rated at 435 horsepower each. Uh, this boat has a, just a tickle over 300 hours on each engine, uh, which is probably the lowest of any Grand Banks 42 that's for sale right now. And with 435 horsepower, this boat will do a high cruise at 15 knots and wide open at about 19. That being said, speed is not what this boat is about. This boat is about being an extremely comfortable, nice place to spend weeks at a time and just go cruising and see the world. Um, so with that said, let's move to the full width aft master state room. And uh, you can see where you'd be spending your time. As I mentioned before, you do have a aft companionway here uh, with screens so that if you're just hanging out for the day, you can open that up, let lots of fresh air in. Obviously the boat does have heat and air conditioning, but I'm a big fan of doing natural uh, whenever possible. Uh, so you have a nice big island berth here with storage along both sides. You do have a little desk over here with a pull-out stool. Um, on this side is the head with the sink, and then on this side is the walk-in separate shower. Um, and now let me take you into the engine room real quick. All right, welcome to the beating heart of this boat, the engine room. As you can see, we have twin Cal Caterpillar main engines, uh, both rated, as I said before, for 4 uh, 135 horsepower. Uh, to the outboard sides, you have all of your other ancillary systems. You have batteries, inverters, uh, reverse cycle heating and air conditioning units. Uh, directly in to the aft of me uh, is the gen set. And, uh, but as you can see, moving around down here is you know, for this size boat, fairly roomy. You can get at everything. It's well lit. It's nice and clean. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention while I was down here is the fuel tanks, uh, which on this boat uh, look to be in excellent condition. Uh, you carry on board 600 gallons of diesel, uh, which at a standard cruise of about eight and a half knots should give this boat conservatively a 600 mile range. Um, so you have some good long legs on this boat and can actually go out and do some pretty major cruising. As you can see, she is an extremely well-maintained boat, uh, has been repowered, newer electronics, uh, extremely well-maintained. Uh, this boat's kind of a no-brainer. If you're looking for a nice, big, comfy cruising trawler, this is the boat for you. So if you're looking for information, uh, please reach out to me at the information below. And until next time, I'll see you guys out on the water.